awesome feeling to stand up there and overcome those fears. Like, I think that's what makes me want to go back for more because sometimes I stand on the platform and I ask myself, like, what am I doing here? Like, I, I'm so scared. I, I feel like, like I want to pass out in a way. And then, you know, hitting the water, everything goes silent. And you go, wow, that, that was a really invigorating feeling. I want to go up and do it again. I like to say that it's like a devil on one shoulder and an angel on the other. That fear, you know, you've got one side going, come on, Reed, go for it, go for it, like, don't hold back. And then you've got the other side saying, like, OK, calm down. It's risky. Just be mindful. So it's it's a strange thing, but I, I have learned a few techniques and then I've talked to people over the years that have given me pointers here, there and everywhere to, to kind of uh, channel it in and to, yeah, to, to just overcome it. Competing on heights between 20 to 22 metres. Obviously, in cliff diving, you know, if, if the cliff is 21.5, then that's that's where it is. You can't change the natural spot. Uh, and the platforms are, are built according to the location. And we hit the water at around speeds of, you know, 80 to 85 kilometres. So the impact is, uh, is, is quite a hit. I was actually, we had family friends and they were gymnasts. Uh, there was two girls, Elise and Talia, and, and I remember one day we were playing at the front of my place in the backyard and I was watching them do, do flips on the grass and I think I got a bit jealous as a kid and, uh, and yeah, I, I went into the, to the trampoline club the next, next week, I guess, and, and that was it. When I actually started trampolining, there was a group of the trampolinists that were also divers as well, and you know they were doing it for school sport. And somebody asked me one day, "Come into the pool and then try some diving." And I think I was around 10, and and yeah, so that's that's where it all began. So for I think I think around six or seven years, I was juggling the two sports as a kid. I was a little bit burnt out, to be completely honest with you. You know, it was a a lot of time spent in the pool, uh, the routine was quite repetitive and, and I just kind of, I guess, fell out of love with it and I, I had a few competitions that didn't go so well and I was, you know, narrowly just missing the, the teams, the open teams. I, I was about to break onto the scene but at, at the age of 21, I, I, at that time I, I was thinking about joining the police force so it wasn't really on my radar to continue diving and I was invited to, to work on cruise ships as an aquatic acrobat. Um, as a diver and I took the opportunity and said okay this will be fun I, I might do one contract which which will last seven or eight months and, and then I'll be done I'll come back and I'll I'll start my career that was my first introduction to, to high diving actually you know I turned up at the theater for the first time and I saw the guys diving from 17 meters and naturally with my daredevil kind of childhood and and my skills for diving and trampolining I, I saw them dive and I went I'm going to be up there. I want to do that, and and from that moment, I, I kind of never looked back, and and I made it. I made it something that that I was going to achieve. Like there was no doubt about it. So Rihanna oh. Nipplin sending it in Sisicon. My first competition didn't go well. Um, the first one was actually a, a FINA event in Abu Dhabi, and I turned up, I would say, a little underprepared. I had the dives, but I, I didn't really have it all together mentally still, diving at those heights. And yeah, in my opinion, it was it was quite a tragedy. I turned up and uh, I got pulled out of the water by one of the, the safety divers, um, mainly because I just let the fear of and the, the pressure of it all uh, kind of overwhelm me. The King Kong Keeley Trophy on the line, number six for Hifflin. The best piece of advice actually came from my, my father, my dad, and it was like, it's such a simple thing that he said to me, you know, we were on the way to, to the first Red Bull cliff diving competition, and I said to him like, oh, I don't know if I want to go, I, I, I don't know if I'm ready, I don't want to embarrass myself, and he kind of said to me, well, you know, it's only up from here. You had a bad competition, the last one, just go there, enjoy it, and, and you know, trust the process, trust what you've, what you've done. You got me standing in line. At the moment, I am thinking about a couple of new dives, 
to try and push that barrier, but it's it's kind of something that you, you never know until you're actually standing there. And, and for the moment, I think I want to start the, the series, put a score on the board and then start to play with some new dives because hopefully a seventh world title is on the way. Let's see, that's that's the goal, but it's a blank slate starting each each year. And uh, it's a tough it's a tough gig to, to be the one that's being hunted and to, to stay on top. Like it's it's a tough gig mentally. So I think focusing a lot of my energy on on just you know keeping a, a stable mind and staying in a good headspace is one of the main goals.